Oh, yeah, we got some news on the Star Wars Mandalorian Disney front. Unfortunate news here, if you are Gina Carano. Unfortunate news. So, it appears as if, according to Variety magazine, Lucasfilm UTA dropped Mandalorian star Gina Carano following offensive social media posts. So, if you're familiar, obviously most people are familiar, should be familiar with The Mandalorian. It's a hit breakout star of the Disney Plus platform. Um, an amazing TV series, probably the best thing lucasfilm has done um since the well since the prequels right i guess right since the prequels um the sequels people are not really been vibing with in the star wars community there's loads of fan channels on youtube that basically ripped them things to pieces and then when you finally do because i think i think that's funny when you watch the when you watch the some of the what they called um uh, I forgot what the name of it, but what, we watch some of these detractor channels on YouTube that basically tear Star Wars and Lucasfilm to pieces um, regarding how they've treated Star Wars as a franchise. You kind of think, you know what, they're going a bit over the top. But then you finally watch those, The Last Jedi and those other kind of film movies that have come out um, since the originals, and you're like, oh my God, the, these movies are legitimately unwatchable, right? They're horrible. They're littered with, you know, stupid social justice motives and themes. Um, when they do try and include other voices they don't give me enough screen time the plus don't really make any sense they're just really really completely completely terrible movies as you know as they pertain to star wars then the mandalorian comes out um um john favreau leading the charge and just takes it back to its core takes it back to what it is these quick 30 minute western inspired um you know tv series probably series except season one probably better than season two but just expertly done you saw how the fanfare when luke skywalker returns at the end right no spoiler alert because you should have watched it already by now but it's really been a hit hit star hit hit um show out from the gate and of course the cameos from bill burr gina carano in it just really really good characters overall that people are really vibe with and of course you know baby yoda um and the mandalorian of course <clears throat> But there's been a lot of stuff brewing in the background with Gina Carano because I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, when it first launched, it started getting a bit popular. I'm assuming somebody from Disney or Lucasfilm kind of told her or suggested that she kind of put her pronouns in a Twitter pro profile, you know, um, what she basically wants to be referred to or regarded as, it, um, you know, as pertains to her gender or assumed gender, whatever it may be, and she refused to do so because she doesn't necessarily vibe with that sort of thing. And I think ever since then, there's always been a target on her back. And then once the series sort of kind of developed and she started to get a bit more comfortable on social media and started to maybe espouse more conservative quote-unquote views maybe more right-leaning views it was always kind of be over it was always kind of a ticking time bomb as to when she was going to get fired from lucasfilm not if and that's maybe the main issue at point here obviously if it was me i would i'm really a firm believer in operating in the world as is not as you wish it to be so if you want to be part of this amazing franchise there was word of her getting her own spin-off show off the back of the mandalorian i would have just played nice not really you know espouse any of my political views on social media especially on a platform like twitter and just kept it moving and collecting my coins and then once it's over then go on a tear and appear on all the right wing platforms that you want to and do whatever you need to do i just think at the moment considering how the world is and how you know most of the media treat people who have more conservative right-leaning views or centrist views quote-unquote it's always a bit of a minefield no term to deal with but if you're on social media saying you know all kinds of nonsense so you know re regarding the left side of things everything's completely okay but the moment you say something a bit spicy on the right side of things it gets a bit bad so i do blame gina carano for not kind of understanding her audience and not understanding who she's basically been employed by and then you know deciding to basically ruin her career for what really it doesn't really make any sense on the other side i also believe that you should be able to say what you want to say if 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 the people who espouse more left-leaning politics such as you know um the guy that actually plays the mandalorian he said some very you know inflammatory things mostly based upon you know the kind of liberal side of political thinking if he's allowed to say that then she should be allowed to say the same thing on her side of things it's either everybody can say what they want or no one says anything at all if anything <clears throat> i probably lean more towards just um restricting 
I guess most Hollywood actors from saying anything in public concerning politics in general, whether it's voting for to go to vote, do this, whatever. I just think it's cringy. It's not needed. It's unnecessary. Real people in their real lives don't listen to them anyway. Um, I think that's where they should just step aside and let the actual experts speak. Um, but if they are going to be able to speak, every voice should be allowed to say what they want within reason. If they don't, if you can't have this one rule for you, one rule for the other, because that's just not fair. But anyway, let's continue. It says here from Lucasfilm. UTA job Mandalorian saw Junior Crano following offensive social media post. It says Junior Crano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm, the company said in a statement on Wednesday. After the controversy erupted over the Mandalorian star social media post, UTA has dropped her as a client. Variety has confirmed, which is effectively cancelling you from the industry. It always happens like this. Whenever somebody gets cancelled, you always get dropped by whatever show you're on and dropped by your agency, which is a way of them kind of showing you that, hey, you're excommunicated from the industry, which again is not productive is not um any way of that person knowing or learning what they should and shouldn't be doing um it's probably not the best thing for somebody's mental health even though some people would argue Gina Crano would probably land on her feet because you know she comes from a fairly wealthy family it's not really important it's not relevant in the situation but still um if anyone thinks cancer culture doesn't exist this is getting cancelled she might still have a career she might have to go on all the right wing um you know uh content platforms to express her views or centrist platform whatever or a political platforms regardless of what they are um she'll be okay in that regard in the immediate but this is what counterculture looks like because she's not going to be able to book another big time show again unless netflix or oh, sorry unless disney plus or every uh, kind of rehires her the same way they rehired nick cannon after he you know espoused his anti-semitic anti-semitic views quote unquote um so if you don't think cancel culture exists, this is the prime example that it actually does. And this is why it's dangerous. Because they get to pick and choose who they wanted to get rid of. It continues. Gina Crimes are currently in private Lucasfilm and there are no plans for her to be in the future. A Lucasfilm spokesperson said in a statement, nevertheless, her social media posted denigrating people based on their culture and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable, which of course we need to come back to and highlight because she didn't actually say any of this. It continues as Shakarano um, shared several offensive t uh, posts on Instagram stories on Tuesday night, including one that likened contemporary political differences to the treatment of Jews in, in of course, Yatsi, Germany. Um, Jews were beaten in the streets by not Yatsi soldiers but by their neighbours even by their children Carlo wrote Instagram because history is edited most people today don't realise that um, to get to that point where Yatsi soldiers could easily round up um, the Jews the government for, uh, first had to make their neighbourhoods um, sorry the neighbours hate them simply for being Jews how is that not any different from hating someone for political views the post originated on a different Instagram account so she reshared this on her stories now don't get me wrong do I want one of my co-stars of a leading Disney franchise to say this sort of stuff on their social media platform? No, I don't personally want it. Do I personally care if somebody I watch on TV um, has political beliefs that don't really um, align with myself? No, not really. I don't really give a shit. But the problem I have with this is that if... <clears throat> If people with more left-leaning views can go on their social media account and accuse Trump of being a racist, and um, you know, can 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 decry that they nearly got murdered at the Capitol building, even though they weren't there, they can say, "Oh, this batshit crazy shit." If that's okay, then people on the other side of the aisle should be able to say it too. Because if anybody is under any kind of illusion that there's not many conservatives that kind of work in Hollywood, they are out of this, out of their minds. Right. There's a lot of people who definitely um, would lean more right leaning, but don't want to say in public because they know it's like an instant, instant X mark on your career. And Junior Crano has basically proved it. She's a lovable character on The Mandalorian, extremely popular. Um, you know, of course, given her UFC fame prior to this, any anyway, regardless, and just how much of a bubble personality is, and people seem to like her, they think she's attractive, blah, 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 blah. She's a very popular character. So if they think, if they're willing and able to get rid of her, this basically tells you why more actors and actresses don't come out and say, hey, I'm a supporter of this person, I'm a supporter of that party. They won't say it because they know it's going to be a complete death sentence to their career. Like, again, like I said, I would much prefer my my actors and actresses and people that appear on tv to not say anything political at all on their social media platforms but again it's their social media platforms if they want to say it let them say it um of course the consequences are there but you can't have one rule for one or for the other and another one it says here in another post corona shared a photo of a person wearing multiple cloth masks of the caption meanwhile in california 
Both posts were gone from Corona's Instagram by mid-Wednesday. Other posts, including one which the coroner wrote, Jeff Epstein didn't kill himself, remained. The hashtag fire Gina Corona. Um, I don't know why Jeff, this is, Jeff Epstein didn't kill himself is not a... Uh, why is that a controversial point of view to make? Anybody that's actually read anything concerning his time in prison will know that there are way too many... Um, there are way too many dodgy pieces of detail that lay that kind of allow themselves to be open for people to speculate i don't think that's anything wrong to say you know um the fact that he was in this cell with a certain inmate the fact that the security guards both fell asleep there's no real um closed circuit footage of the actual incident prior leading up to it it's all too fishy um I don't see why that's so controversial. Anyway, it says here, uh, the fire Gina Corona hashtag began circulating on Twitter on Wednesday in response to a post. Many users tagged Lucasfilm and corporate parent uh, Disney in their post. Of course, the, 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 the Tattletale community come out in force. Corona is no stranger to controversial social media. In November, she was criticized for mocking people who specify pronouns when she updated her Twitter bio with Beep Bop Bop, which she later removed in December. <laughs> because that's really funny. In December, Lucasfilm announced Rangers and New Republic, a direct spinner for the Mandalorian that seemed to suggest the path for her character Cara Dune a former rebel trooper who had become a marshal for the new republic of the show Lucasfilm is yet to announce a cast for the new show however so she's officially gone and this is an article here from the Daily Beast detailing her exact court indiscretions if we scroll down here um you obviously got the post of what she said and again um I would personally not prefer my actors and actresses to say anything political on their platforms, but I just think we're in a really dodgy place if we allow one side of the aisle to say something and the other side not to say anything. Um, I don't think it serves any real purpose. And again, considering how... Um, you know how well and not well received some of the other star wars franchises are by the actual fan base i think this is probably going to do more damage than bad more good than bad or i'm sorry more bad than good for Star Wars overall i think they've really underestimated the kind of love and affection people seem to have for gina crana and her car doing character in the mandalorian and we definitely haven't heard the last of this going forward but again um Maybe this is part of it, isn't it? Um, when you're in public, when you're in the public light or when you're working in Hollywood, you just have to accept the fact that you're going to be under some um, scrutiny, 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 scrutiny for your personal social media and have to move accordingly. Um, maybe part of this is her just not really giving a shit, which is quite admirable too. But, you know, she did fumble the bag somewhat considering she had a spinoff, um, you know, in the works especially with our character which is essentially money guaranteed for years and maybe decades to come uh, but it's interesting to see what happens going forward with this anyway let's move on